Morning everyone. Right, today I have to make some curtains. So, I need two to turn down and I need them about there. So I'm just going to, it's just a wired ribbon. I'm going to take the wire out. In a minute, I get my glue, uh, glue guns on, and I'm not sure how long I'm going to need them. And I've got to just do all these up. So we'll start with those, and then we'll move on to the next stage. Now Raymond's made me a couple of boxes <coughs> to put this one to put this miniature in. Now let's have a look. We just want to take the wire out. Now don't waste the wire because you never know where that's going to come in handy. You know, you can use that little stretch of wire there to um, connect something together or whatever. Sorry. Uh, so I'm going to pre make the curtains on the pole uh, so that. Um, we just hang them straight up on the wall wherever we want them and I'll leave um, the length to cut whatever length I need. Now, let's just get this right. So I'm, all I'm going to do is to pin that one to that one as one curtain. I don't know whether to do three to be honest. And then I can pull, yes, we'll do three. So let's just do the first one. Now all I'm going to do, see if my glue gun's ready. It is a little bit. Little dob, little dob, little dob. Just to get it going. I hope you're seeing this. Now Ray's moved the camera, the arm of the camera back <coughs> so that you should be seeing what I'm doing uh -oh. and I can lower the camera a little bit more so you get a better view I'll test this and if it doesn't work we'll have to do it again <laughs> little dob, little dob, little dob that's just to get this going That's it. Right, so now just let me, uh, whoops, darken this. Mm, going everywhere. Right, okay. Okie dokie, smokey. I basically just need to fold. Oops, that was too much, matey. It's really. Well, it's not that awkward. Right, so I just need that. Now I've got to get the other one exactly the same. So that's one. Like that. Sort all that out. Right, okay. Now I can just glue this section like that because I've got it how I want it. 
Oops. Okay, that's going to be fine. Oh. Why is that gone like that? That should be over there. Let me just pull that back a bit, that's it. And I actually do like the way it looks, like it's got pleats in it, to be honest. Now, we pop this on. I don't know what's happened to that. It kind of like come undone. Let's do it from this angle. That's it. Back in there. That'll do. See, like that. Now, what you do is, and this is what I do. Right, we'll just pull that back. Little dobs of glue going all the way over, okay? And then you just have to hold that and push. Like that. Never mind that. We can glue that onto this end. Like that. So that's not going to move anywhere. And then you glue this bit here like that and your curtains are already gathered and then all you do is put your tie back on like that and you've made yourself a pair of curtains so we're just going to do that with this end as well let me just oh, leave that there in a minute right so we're going to leave a dob of glue here Pull that across and you're just doing a little dob of glue all the way over like that and then push it and it just keeps hold of it that'll do me and then any excess take off and then you're gonna glue that bit there like so Right, so then we've got little curtains. Now, because I need a tie back, I just cut this. I'm gonna use a, uh, oh no, I'm not gonna use that. I've got, uh, let me just find this bit. I've got a little bit of this, which is I'm gonna use for tie backs. It's just a strip. It's like a felt. which you <laughs> it's so awkward this stuff which you peel back now, I'm just going to make a tie back and then I will sort the curtain out whenever I want it in fact I'll do it that way just gather it up like a pleat because you get your best look then And we're gonna move that like that because then when it's against the wall this can be pinned to the wall okay and that's just a quick way of um, making a pair of curtains and then you seal them off they're not gonna fray so again We'll just get that off ready. Pin that on there. It's about there. Like so, just gather it up. That just gives it the evenness. And then we're going to 
do that and pin that together. You can play around with these till you've got it how you want it. So that needs moving up a little bit. I, actually, I like it there. I might move the other one down. And then I can play around with these. Just peel them back like that. You just twist them. It's because it's sticky back, you see. So these I might just pull down a little bit. Like that. There we go. And you've made yourself your curtains. Great, aren't they? Nice little things. To design yourself. Now, they may, I'm not sure, they may need... Um, A little canopy uh, so I'm gonna do that next so there's the curtains so now we'll just make the canopy now all I have to do with this oh I need to take out no I'm take out one side of the but I'm not sure how much I'm gonna need that's the problem let's just say I'll take that much off and I'll work from there I've got plenty of this ribbon right so just take the one side out like that. Move all this out of the way. Now, the wired bit is the top bit. So we turn the ends over. Just for neatness, that's all. And it's on a wire, don't forget. Like that. Now, I'm just thinking. I needed to do that, didn't I? Snip the end off. Right, and pull. Just start to gather the wire. like that these are just really quick ways of getting the look that you're after so take the curtains back and you see what you're doing So at the moment, I'm just going to glue this on. Now, I can shorten these if I choose to have them shorter. I will do, but I'm going to show you how to do that. So you glue that on. And then what you can do with the bit you've pulled out is wrap round, which secures that. Then snip it. Discard any small bits of wire because they, they can hurt. <coughs> Okay, and then what we do is we work this to the width we need. Yeah. We probably could do a little bit more. It is a bit fidgety, but just take your time. I am kind of like rushing. Now, let me just sort this out. Because them two pieces needed to be glued together. So I have to have this in on level with that. That's about right. I'm just going to glue that bit on like so. Try and keep it to the top instead of the middle or underneath. Keep it to this top section because it'll hide that, you see. And then work your way along. Just do a dob here and a dob there, which is, oops, sorry. I didn't wrap that round, which I should have done. Just lift your fabric up like that. Let's wrap that around. And that secured that on. And that's a bit of wire, that's enough to use. 
Okay. Don't do it all at once because you need to play around with it properly. Like that. And a couple of dots there. That's it. Now, I might need to cut that, and I think I do, but I'm not fussed about it. We're going to pin it down, but I'm just going to cut it in half. Oh, somebody's arguing it bloody street. Hang on a minute. Uh, not quite half, sorry. Now, what I'm going to do now is just... Move all of these away from the curtain and just seal them off. And then what we've got to do is to pin them down. So pull the ones down where you want them, dob the glue underneath and there and flatten them down. Same thing with this side. Like that. See, now that looks more natural. Um, and the other way for this is just where there's a flat bit at the back. Because it's a central part, it needs to be pinned. You can just trim that and um, I would just trim these off like that. you've made yourself a perfectly good pair of curtains now the reason why I want to make these um, is because in the kitchen I'm going to be doing the um, you know the um, sink area and that and I wanted curtains above the sink like that I mean, it is a Victorian kitchen. They, do you know what? I'm not happy with those being slanting, so I'm just going to cut them straight across and seal them off. Same with this side. I just, I don't like them slanting, that's all. Like that. That's better. That's better, like that. Perfectly good pair of curtains. That's how you make those. So you can do that, you can do that with paper, you can do it with fabric, you can do it with lace, exactly the same way. Now, I needed to do this. Is it this one? I'm not sure which one it was. Yeah. It's just to finish off. Put a little bit of decoration on it. So I'm just using a, a white pen. As decoration. Like that. That's it. Don't need to do any more. When that's dry, I will. Uh, oh, we'll just. When that's dry, I will just slightly darken the white off that, because I don't want, you know, anything looking new because it's not. Now, brush. 
again it's got a little bit of silver wrapped over it and I'm just going to pencil like that again just for decoration leave that to dry this is the spade uh, I actually don't really want to do anything to the spade I just want to like that that's all that's all I'm doing to that um yeah we're just making the pattern that I did earlier uh I'm gonna have a front section on here like that just leave it like that I will darken it slightly like I say I don't think I need to do anything to the bucket I could do a little pattern on the front of course um, just do a little Do a little pattern. I'll darken it all afterwards. I'll just leave that like that. Now, what's this? What's happening here? Oh, that's the shelving thing, isn't it? Which goes like that. Is it that way or that way? That way. So that actually needs doing. Now that's the... Yeah, it does. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do with this first is, I've got some of these little hooks, these little eyes. See those? So if you see them, I've done one at each end, one in the middle, and then one in the middle there, and one in the middle there. And then what I can do is I can add a little touch of glue and screw these in. I'll just push them in like that. Any glue left over, scrape off, and we can always um, paint over it. But this is just balsa wood, so you do have to be careful with it. See, like that. You don't actually need to screw them in. doesn't matter about anything at the back that will all screw in place so now what I've got to do is just um, attach the top uh, paint the top
and that can be used to house things on like a shelf there we go uh, let that dry but while it's drying what I am going to do is just to hope you can see this is just to pop on a little bit of glue there might have to do a little bit more and pop these little fancy bits on like that for decoration and it's a totally totally new unit oh don't do that put it upside down oh. Oh, I'm not happy with that just there. Or oh, saying that, it doesn't matter. I don't think you'll notice. It's slightly to one side and I'm just OCD. <laughs> Oops. Hang on. I just mark that one a little bit, sorry. Right, so that unit's finished. which I'm pleased about. I'm just put a little bit of uh, paint over there, paint all of those areas. And there you go. That one actually looks like it's needs to come back a bit there. Nice little unit. So We'll just leave that to dry. Pop that there. Uh, do you know what I was thinking of doing as well? I think I'm going to put a back piece on this one. I need a new top on there. Um, now, I do have some more balsa wood, so bear with me. This is quite a thick piece.
there. Totally different units. And I think they look fab. Right, now, I know I've done this stool, but I want to alter that into a seat. So again, take the balsa wood, and I've got a piece here that I can use, like this. Uh, let me just mark off. Just mark off to there. Where have I put it now? Oh, there. So keep all your spare bits, don't, uh, thingy. Now, what I'm going to do, <laughs> if it'll work, is I'm going to, right, let's just see. If we've got that there, go down three. That gives me that space there to one. That's that. Turn it over and do exact same thing. Three, one. Okay, again, and just start to shape the chair back. Now, <clears throat> this is going to be really, really hard, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> I could spoil it all together. Too big. Let me get the next one down, which is this one. Perfect. I know you're going to say, what the hell is she doing? Now, okay. I'm not cutting it out, I just wanted a pattern in there. Um, now, just a minute. I'm just going to try something. <sighs> May not work.
sorry I hope you're seeing this so I'm not sure like I say if you're actually seeing what I'm doing Let's see if there's something I can because it's balsa wood practically anything can cut it so I'm just making a groove which is just shaving uh, a groove in it and I'm trying desperately not to split I'm going to try to tidy the edges up here do you know what I might just try and cut that bit out actually because I've got something that can go in there and I might just want to leave it a different colour I'm just going to find the bead that I need to go in it. Once it's painted, it won't make any difference. You're, uh, it'll, it'll just give it a pattern to it. <laughs> fee, 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 fee. <laughs> oh, you are so clever, fee. I like it when things come together. And yes, I do call myself clever sometimes because I work hard at it. Perfect. I do work hard at doing the right thing. You know, getting things to be as what's in my head. <laughs> so, I hope you managed to see most of this. Right, we can get rid of that, never mind all that. So now it's become a different chair, but I'm going to go a little bit further. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just glue it on and then paint it, to be honest. And cut it and everything, because I'm not sure, I don't want to get this wrong. So I'm just going to glue that on. Hang 
I need to get that in there properly. This is where I can make a mistake. <laughs> you take that in slightly. And I've just got to do the other side. Exactly the same. like that slightly bringing that in like I did with the other bit yep okay not finished and I'm just going to break that off a little bit there and bring that back in here it's, that's it right now this is where I can make a mistake I'm going to shave it a little bit like that because it's too you know Now, I've got to move on to the next stage. Now, what I've done, I couldn't find one of these to buy, so I've had to make one. And it's the old wash tub. <laughs> you, you've just got to do what you've got to do. And use the materials that you have at hand. And I'm laughing because it's just... Um, I don't know, it's... If I could teach master classes, believe me, I would. Now, I'm going to start with this, the plunger. The, I'm not sure what they call it, but we... Now, I do remember very clearly we lived at uh, 30, 35 Britannia Terrace in Armley. We were in a back-to-back -back house. Our tin bath used to be hooked up outside on the wall. And we did have a wash tub. But I think ours was like a greeny metal. I'm not sure. My sisters will probably correct me. My older sisters. Uh, but from what I remember. But we did have one of these in the corner. I mean, mine, it does move. And... Um, I'm, I think I've done this a little bit short, but I'm fine with it. I really am. I'm fine with it. So I'll start off with this. I had this one, which was just that length. And I thought, no, I need a slightly bigger one because I need it to stand at the side. And you need, because that's so deep. So I took the handle off and I made a fresh one from a skewer. Um, and just glued it in. Now, to make the tub, I took... A piece of this tubing cut it the length I needed and then sliced it and cut a piece out about a centimeter and then glued it back together and this is the back section and then I took from that some of this now if you just say that's the edge of your table or your unit or something if you do this with it it breaks the fibre up, it's a two millimetre chipboard and it breaks the fibre up and it makes it more flexible. It's already flexible but to get it even more flexible where you can make circles with it without losing shape, you just do that on the edge of something. And what I did is I cut two uh, one centimetre strips and I, after gluing the tub together, I then added those and then I took a ball of string which I'm going to put back on the shot because we do have some left. And I just went round and round and round 
like that um, and then took my ink and I used the walnut stain just to distress it all the way around now in order to get this section what I've done is I've taken a piece of um, balsa wood and cut the length they, they, these arms do reach in the bottom and you have to be careful when you're working with balsa wood because it is delicate so I've cut like a piece like this, cut it in half, glued one either side, shaped the top. I, I left them pretty long until I really, you know, found out what size I wanted. And then I took a thicker piece of this, which um, this one. See, there's a difference. And I cut two strips off, or oh, a strip off, cut it in half, and then just. I shaved the edges, so I'll show you what I mean when you're doing it. Shave the edges just to take that off so it's not um, like 90 degrees. And then use your, I mean, you could use it straight away, but you might splinter it or something. So I just like, I'd rather just shave it first and then use that until I'd made a completely round bar so i did two of those well i did one bar and then cut it into two and then glued that in between the two pieces there but before i glued it in and i glued them together i made sure i'd put some fabric in there to make it look a little bit more authentic and then just added a bit of wire bent it into an s shape oh yeah you know what i mean left it long enough because this being balsa would go straight in it so it just went straight through the, into this section. So it's holding it. Glued it in. Um, and then just use a little bit of string to make a handle with. And then glued this to the tub. And hey ho. There you go. I've got um, a nice uh, <laughs> wash tub. <laughs> but like I say, I couldn't buy one. I looked for one. And I thought, you know what, make it, Fee. You can make it. You've, I think I've done one. Well, I know, I know I've done one that's a long time ago. Um, but it got broke because it was so delicate that it was just thrown in a box. So anyway, so that's that. Now I've painted just this lid. Uh, it was like a little tub. Put three feet on it because that's going to be um, done up. I don't know what I'm putting in it. Probably it'll go by the side of the sink with the washing in. Even though I've got these tubs, but um, I'm not sure. One pound thirty-five, diabolical. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. But I've painted them up with one coat first, just to uh, see. Now I might put legs on one. I'm not sure, and have them. You know, like I could have a set of them like that. So we'll see about that. But I'm thrilled to death with this, absolutely. I wanted to do one more thing. Because I'm following the emblems of, um, you know, what's on the units and that. So I just wanted to do this. Now I've got one of these little fancy things. And I'm just going to bend it. Like that. I'm going to take hold, make sure I get the front. Take hold of that and pop that on there. It just altered it a little bit more, hasn't it? But it makes it look like it's going to be all part of the kitchen. It's all the units come from the same place. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. I hope you've seen all of that. But yeah, I'm thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. All I've done with this, just because it was a little bit bright for a, a vintage kitchen. So what I've done is a bit groggy, you know, in the scullery. So I've done that and that's all I've done with them. Now, of course, I might need to make a, another pair of these. Now, Raymond's done the box and here we have it. So here's the box. He's made this for me. Um, all I've got to do now is to do the walls. Now, 
I'm going to, it's really difficult because I don't have, hang on a minute, I don't have the space. So I'm just going to see if I can hire the camera so that you can see, but you might end up looking down my front. <laughs> Let me just see. I want to put a separate kitchen area in. So all I'm going to do at the moment is just see what I've got. I have to. So I'm going to have that wall to eight centimetres. There. Um, like that. I'm going to have this one. I'm going to have this one the full width of the ruler. Like that. Um, just, just bear with me. Okay, right, okay. I have to work this out and, um, because, you see, it's not a kit or anything. I'm making this up as I go along. This is the thing. So that's going to go there. Yes, yes. Okay. Right. right. Okay, okay. Okay, so I'll take this out, Fee, to about 10. Take that out. Not perfect, not fussed. Right, okay, let's just have another go at this. Sorry if I'm out of frame or anything, I, there's nothing I can do, I'm just trying to do my best. And um, so I need to put that there. But I obviously have to cover it first. Just has to, yes, yes, that's how I want it, right? Okay, so, um, okay, this is going to be cork, that's going to be brown, this is going to be cork, that's going to be brown, right? Okay, they're the pieces what I need covering.
Now I have to colour this section and um, if, if I remember rightly I painted it first so let's just I went over it with white acrylic and then we because it's got a good texture Now I'm going to let that uh, dry off natural and I'm going to come back and show you the next section where we colour that. Uh, we have to put the brickwork in, uh, which I've got here, but I have to see what's going where in order to do that, okay? Uh, we'll just have to um, sort it out. <laughs> Thanks for watching, take care and I'll speak to you all.